What's up, everybody? Fuck, man. That's all I can say is fuck. I'm not. I know I was doing very well in the fight. I know I was winning the fight. I felt I was up in the fight. It's just I, what happened when I, I threw a lazy jab and I got caught. I, it was my fault. But like every fucking fighter, every warrior, they get dropped, they get back up. I seen guys stumble more and more than me, man. I seen that shit. I'm more sad. Yes, I love my corner, I love the dead, I ride with my brother for another mother. But I feel that they stopped it too soon. I think love got more involved than, than a fighter relationship. Which is understandable, you know, like I said, I love Robert to death. But I think the love that he had for me, I think he got, he got too involved. Which is okay, but still, man, yeah. I'm more mad. I'm not really mad, I'm sad the fact that I know I was above that point, man. I know I was doing really good. I, I was breaking him down. I was breaking him fucking down. Yes, yeah, so I quit on the hot the way get hit the way my sound fights, but I think I was breaking them down. I was doing really good. It's just the fact that fuck man. Through a lazy jab and he caught me. What else can I say? You seen that shit? Fuck. I'm just pissed off with that shit. That's it? No question? Fuck it. Was that the only Yeah, you're not you. Anybody else? You may be you may be upset. Not you, but... eating bills. Okay. Anybody have questions? <laughs> What happened? Uh, I'll, I'll oh, not you, you, definitely not you. <laughs> <laughs> what about this guy over here? Yeah, okay, you do. What's next? <laughs> What's next? Fuck, we just gotta wait for... Hopefully, fuck, I don't get back down to the fucking gutter, man. You know, I gotta see what... Guadalupe Valencia, my, my advisor, see what he can come up with. And see if he talked to him and see what's good. I like to thank him for presenting me and giving me the opportunity to fight one of these good fighters, so... Uh, can I say, man, I'm just mad because of the fact that I know I was winning the fight. Fuck. You shook yeah. it off fairly fast. Yeah, and I think, well, 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 it was a minor mistake. It was my, my fault. I think I got up too quick, and maybe the corner felt I was still hurt. But, you know, of course, you get caught with a fucking great jab and well, override whatever you're coming with. I, of course, you get hit like that. Danny got power. And... Of course, you're in your fall and you try to get back up too quick. Uh, you're still a little bit wobbly from, from fouling. But fuck, man. That's, I don't know what else the word to say, man. He's just coming very good and it was my fault that to a lazy, a, a lazy jab. I brought my hand back, set it back up, I brought it down and that's what happened. I paid the consequence. Okay, now you're starting to start. I was going to say. I'm just fucking <laughs> with you. Now. I was going to say, was that the only time you were hurt the whole fight? No, yeah, yeah, that's one time I, you know, I felt his power, yes, he is, like I said, he does have power and everything, I felt his punches, but not to a point where he was hurting me, uh, it was just, like I said, I threw a lazy jab, and that's what happens, I brushed that bring back to my face, my chin, I brought it back down to my stomach, and he caught me, like a dumbass, it was a learning experience for myself, a rookie, a rookie mistake, and what else can I say, but I felt that I was up, up, up above on points, and I felt I was in the fight. Okay, your turn. Okay. I was going to tell you, you seemed upset about, you know, performance, but you talked about, you know, your, everything changed with you, your strength and conditioning, your weight, and you looked good today. What do you, what do you, what, what do you think, what do you think about it? About, you, you mean, you made, No, my you performance, like I said, I feel great, I feel strong, I, feel, I wasn't even tired or nothing like that, you know, I felt really good and I felt in perfect shape. Like I said though, it was just the fact that I threw a lazy jack, he came over and caught me. And what else can I say, you know? I got up, I think I got up too fast, it was a rookie mistake. I've never been knocked down before, so I reacted too fast. I got up and I was still a little wobbly and my corner felt that I was hurt, but I, I think I was hurt. I could have still continued. Maybe if he would have knocked me down again, then they could have, oh fuck, he's really hurt, yeah. drop me, but. Like I said, every warrior goes to it. Everybody's been dropped down before. Every fighter, especially warriors. Look at Arturo Gale, look at Mickey Ward, look at fucking Willis Chavez, look at fucking Josito Lopez. He's been dropped. Everybody, Madonna has been dropped. All these people have been dropped. They get back up and still compete. And I still, I felt, I felt I could still compete. And I felt I was still in the game. Like I said, I think in my, in my heart, I was above on points. Uh, 
the Danny Green Lance and good shots, yes, he got power, yes, he has pop, yes. But I think I was still above a point, maybe like a round. And it was a really close fight, but until the stoppage happened, you know, fuck. I was just I was just mad because of that shit happened. Not only that, I'm mad because they they didn't give me opportunity to try to finish the fight, the round. I had like probably like 30, 40 seconds left. Uh, that's enough time, you know, I could have, by the time they say break in, you could have grabbed, you could have moved around, you could have run around, whatever you could have done. And it would have killed time, but it is what it is, it's, it's a court decision, they made a decision what they made, and what can I say, man? I think, to me, in my heart, in my mind, I think more of a love guy involved than a boxer trainer, which is good, because they, they love me and I know they're watching out for me, but I think that's what happened. It was more of a, a love and sort of boxing trainer that happened. Hey, Robert, what'd you make of the fight up to that point of the stoppage? I think Brandon was fighting a good fight, you know, that's what, uh, that's Brandon's style and he was uh, coming in, you know, fighting the way he normally fights, you know, we, we were, we said it before, you know, we were hoping that, you know, in the late, into the later rounds, Brandon was going to take advantage of those rounds and uh, I think that's what he was doing, but like, like he said, he got caught and uh, it just happens to boxing, that's part of boxing. Do you agree with him about the love part got in the way? You well, know, look, right now he's hurt because, uh, it's a fight that he didn't want to lose and he really trained hard and he was motivated and uh, you know he, he did everything right and that's probably what hurts him the most but uh, you know I do love Brandon and uh, I really don't want to see him get hurt. I I gotta go back and see the fight uh, again. I was telling the, uh, the inspectors I need the fight stop but you know the inspectors are telling me you're the one that has to jump in but I, if I'm not mistaken by the time I jumped in Kenny Bellis had already stopped it. I don't know if you guys could maybe Prove, you know, tell me that I'm wrong or something, or maybe let Brandon understand that maybe the ref had already stopped him before I stepped in. I have a question for Brandon. I know that you're very disappointed, but um, do you get some measure of, uh, of, of respect and happiness knowing that you proved some critics wrong with your performance tonight? Uh, no, not really, because like I said, man, I, I trained my ass off for this fight. You know, I really wanted. I train my fucking ass off, you know, and it just put more milk on the table, you know what I mean? People's gonna talk more shit like always, you know, and I'm just mad because, like I said, I thought I was in the fight, I thought I was above a point, I thought it was like a part of a like round, until you caught me, you know, that's what happened when you get, I threw a lazy jab, that's what happened, I threw a lazy jab and you just caught me, and said bring it back up to my chin, I brought it back to my stomach and he just fucking got me to get punched. And like I said, Danny does can he he does get popped in both hands, but I felt that I was still winning the fight and maybe you never know the credits they were always gonna fucking talk shit. So uh, that's the thing that I hate that's the thing that drives me more insane because makes me more mad is because the fact that you motherfuckers gonna say some stupid shit tomorrow. That's what makes me more mad. And if you know who the fuck you are, you know who the fuck I'm talking about. So that's what makes me more mad. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Brandon a great round of applause for the perfect fight tonight.